In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable multi-track recording in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad so that you can record multiple tracks at the same time. Let's go. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. Recording in GarageBand is great, but what if you could record a guitar and a vocal at the same time? Well, you can, and here's how. By default, this is what your GarageBand window will look like, but to access more controls, we can tap and drag to the right on this handle. And now we have access to the mute, the solo, and the volume, so we can control our tracks. But where do we access multi-track recording and monitoring? What we need to do is come up to the top right and tap on the settings button. Come down here to advanced settings, and the setting you're looking for is this one, multi-track recording. As soon as we tap that one on, like magic, we've got two extra icons. What do these mean, and how do we use them? The first icon there is the record light. You'll notice that every time we change to a different track highlighted, the record light moves to that track. If we want to record two tracks, we select the first one and then tap on the record button. The second icon here is your monitoring. So if you wanted to say hear your, your microphone, microphone, so, so when, when I, I talk, talk through, through this, this mic, mic you hear me, me then, then we, we turn, turn that, that one on. You may want to use that because perhaps you want to hear your microphone, but not your guitar when you're recording. If you want to hear both, you can you tap, tap both, both of them, them on. on. Now, of course, to record two different tracks, we need a multi-track audio interface. So you can see here, I'm using my Steinberg UR22C, and I have the mic plugged into channel one and the guitar into channel two. To assign which channel to use here in GarageBand, tap on, in this case, the microphone icon to go back to this screen. And you'll see over here on the left, we can change between input one, input input two, or even stereo if we want to use both inputs into one track. And then to assign our guitar, we do the same thing. We tap, we tap on the microphone icon, and we change this one to channel two. Now, if you had this on input number one, you'll notice here that we won't be able to record because both of these are now on input one. And if we hit the record button, it's going to give us this input channel in use. Now, if you've got a four channel or a six channel interface, you can continue doing the same thing. And there's other videos here on the channel showing you just that. When your inputs are set up and you're ready to record, make sure that the record lights are on, make sure you're monitoring whichever you'd like to and then hit the record button and you'll notice there's a little number two there if we hit record it's recording on both of those tracks and yes you can even do funky things like use a virtual instrument and record it as well as audio sources at the same time if you've got you know multiple hands or multiple people there you have it, your record, your monitor, and your multi-track recording here in GarageBand iOS. I hope you find this useful. Grab yourself a multi-channel interface and record your tracks with ease here in GarageBand. If you'd like to learn more, check out the other videos in the description, and I'll see you next time.